in the 1800s, during the Industrial Revolution, a group of weavers with sledgehammers in hand smashed the power looms in the textile factories as they saw them as a threat to their livelihood as artisans. Named after the mythical leader Ned Ludd, who nobody knows was real or not, these Luddites wage war on the machines and threaten the industrialists who built them. In essence, they represented opposition to modern technology. It's 2020, and I too am a Luddite. I use certain technologies if I must to survive in the 21st century, but prefer to live as tech-free as possible. A lot of technology and gadgets scare and confuse me. The bottom line is, I don't like a lot of buttons and beeps. However, unlike Ned Ludd and his followers, I won't be taking a sledgehammer to my electronics. I was born a Luddite. Growing up, my family would opt in and opt out of technology. If we saw the benefits, we were in. For example, we got an answering machine when it had been out for about five to eight years. When we bought it, took it out of the box, and plugged it in, we stood around it at the table and were in awe of how a device could record a message from a phone call. We were changing out the tapes in the machines when people started to have these digital ones that didn't require a tape. However, we were content to keep changing out the tapes in our now old machine and were fascinated by the fact that people left messages. When other young adults were trying new things, I was still a committed Luddite. I had a typewriter when others started to have this portable folding device called a laptop. Later in college, I opted to try out one of these newfangled contraptions. It was about two inches thick, had to be plugged in, and had this rainbow apple symbol on it. While I missed my typewriter, I did like how the laptop could erase words much faster than that typewriter tape. My Luddist tendencies led to a career that always has me living in the past. As a historian, I admire a world that existed before the arrival of the locomotive in the black soot producing factories, where you can breathe the air and enjoy the countryside free of time clocks, machines, and anything technical. While there's been much progress with industrial technology, I also see how modernization has led to overcrowded cities, rabid consumerism, environmental pollution, and the arrival of the commercial farm. Currently, we are in phase 4.0 of the Industrial Revolution, and we have developments like digitization, automation, artificial intelligence, to name a few. These advancements have us constantly upgrading our technical devices while simultaneously degrading our environment with a pileup of toxic electronics and plastics. Though a Luddite, I still have to live in modern times. I'm like an old cast iron skillet living in a fancy pressure cooker world. I got a smartphone. I held on to my flip phone as long as I could until society practically forced me to get a new one. It has way too many apps. I don't like notifications. I dislike texting. But I still have my landline. I do smart teaching. Students apparently don't want to learn just by listening to me. They like to see lots and lots of PowerPoints. Students love the technical world of laptops, ebooks, and wikis. So all I see of my students are the tops of their heads and the backs of their laptops. Don't students realize that the best time of the year is back to school shopping? Pens, pencils, notepads? Electronics are boring. I drive a high-tech car. I held on to my old school automobile as long as I could until I had to get another one. It has this large digital dashboard with all of these apps. It tells me to get a cup of coffee if I drive more than two hours. But it doesn't use a key to start or have a CD player. This was my Luddite life until the arrival of the global pandemic. The pandemic caused us to change how we live, think, and act. Schools, businesses, government closed. We social distanced and stayed home. We shut down the world to prevent the increased spread 
of COVID-19. This dramatic shift became our new normal. Much to the horror of any Luddite like me, these developments meant the increased use of technology. Electronic gadgets like phones and tablets became lifelines for us to connect with family and friends. Instead of just food and water, and apparently now toilet paper to survive, we also needed more Wi-Fi, bandwidth, and headsets. Our entire lives went online. The new world we live in is, quite frankly, a Luddite's biggest nightmare. Allowing more technology into my life wasn't on my daily planner. However, I reluctantly do so while resisting the urge to stare too deeply into my phone screen. Thus, I'm a Luddite surviving a pandemic, doing what I need to do. I caved and added a few more apps to my phone, though I resist those notifications. A large coffee chain tried to force me to download an app to order their coffee. Instead, I get my coffee at a different drive-thru at a different business, where I speak to a human being. I discovered this thing called binge watching. My tablet tells me my screen time is breaking records. And I've accepted that for now, I will see my students in online squares on my laptop and I'll be making more PowerPoints than ever. In a time of great uncertainty and fear, I'm still a Luddite. I can choose when I want to connect and disconnect from technology. I'm not a machine after all. And I will continue to honor my beloved technophobes. Unfortunately for these rebels in the 1800s, breaking machines became a capital offense punishable by death. Luddites were arrested and some were executed. Sadly, their movement was short-lived. The industrialists and the machines won the battle. However, their war against a technical utopia rages on. Their effort should give us all pause before we click, swipe, or stare at our electronics. Maybe read a book, close the laptop, cook with an old cast iron skillet. It's OK to be a Luddite every once in a while. Go on, try it. Just don't take a sledgehammer like the Luddites or an old cast iron skillet to your electronics. You'll need them. <laughs>